If you want to learn how to start an LLC in Texas, you're in the right place. Now, every state has slightly different rules when it comes to forming an LLC. Texas specifically has some of the most newly formed LLCs, or limited liability companies. Stick around to learn what the steps are to form your own limited liability company in Texas. To get an LLC, you can either do it yourself or hire someone to do it for you. If you're going the DIY route, there are five steps in total to forming your LLC in Texas. Step number one, name your LLC. Do you already have a name for your business? You'll need to search through the business name database that's kept on file with the Texas Secretary of State to make sure it isn't taken. Every state has its own rules about what kind of names you're allowed to use in order to form your LLC. In general, you want to check that it's not easily confused with another business name on file. For example, Bear Claw LLC and Bear Claw LLC are not easily distinguishable. And you'll need to add either limited liability company, LLC, or LLC with periods in between each letter to your business's name. There are also certain words that may require additional paperwork, such as insurance, trust, bank, and ink. Lastly, though this isn't a requirement of getting an LLC, you probably want to grab the domain name of your business name so that no one gets it first. Step number two, file the certificate of formation. Texas requires you to file a certificate of formation with the Secretary of State either in person, online, or by mail. It will cost $300. Make sure to include the name of your proposed LLC, the physical address of your Texas office, the designated registered agent, which we'll talk about in a moment, and how your LLC will be managed, either with one manager, more than one manager, or all LLC members. Step number three, choose a registered agent. A registered agent or an agent for service of process is a requirement for forming an LLC in Texas. It refers to someone who accepts all legal papers for the business. It refers to a person or business who sends and accepts all legal papers acting as the point of contact for your LLC. These documents can include regulatory and tax notices, subpoenas, correspondence and legal filings. Depending on your state laws, your registered agent can be someone in your company, like you, or you can hire a professional service to do it for you, just as long as your registered agent has a street address in your state and is available during business hours. Step number four, create an operating agreement. Though most states don't legally require you to file your operating agreement with the Secretary of State, you could be required to prepare and maintain an operating agreement within the LLC. An operating agreement records your LLC setups, organizational structure, daily duties, and general rules. It defines the roles and responsibilities of all LLC members, including the percentage of ownership allocated to each member, how profits will be distributed, and how decisions will be made. It's the core document for your business. It can help you prevent future misunderstandings. There are six main sections to an operating agreement. Section number one, organization, describes when and where a company is created, who its members are, and how ownership is structured. Section number two, management and voting. Just like it sounds, it outlines how the company is managed and how members vote. Section number three, capital contributions. Which members are financially supporting the LLC and how more funds plan to be raised in the future? Section number four, distributions. How the company's profits and losses are distributed among the members. Section number five, membership changes. The process for adding or removing members of the LLC or if and when members can transfer their ownership shares. And lastly, section number six, dissolution, the circumstance in which the LLC may be dissolved. Your operating agreement is a living document that should be updated each time there's a change in the membership or management of your company. Step number five, apply for a EIN. Your employer identification number is like a social security number specifically for your business. It's a nine digit number assigned by the IRS to identify taxpayers who are required to file business tax returns. You should consider getting an EIN from the IRS if you want to open a business bank account, apply for a business loan, and pay your business income taxes. EINs are free and you can get one from either the IRS online or by mail. And that's how to form an LLC in Texas. It's important to know that most LLCs doing business in Texas must file an annual report together with a franchise tax that is payable to the Texas Comptroller of Public Accounts. Your LLC will not owe franchise taxes if your annual revenue is below $1.23 million, though in that case, you will need to file a no tax due report. If forming an LLC on your own sounds like too much of a headache, you can always go with option number two, hiring a service to take care of your Texas LLC for you.
Though it may cost you more money than doing it yourself, there are a lot of benefits to hiring a professional like Taylor Brands. Our LLC service will take care of your formal application, get your EIN for you, create your operating agreement in your terms and act as your registered agent. So you can rest easy knowing that your paperwork is taken care of, deadlines are met, and your privacy is protected. If you have any more questions about forming a Texas LLC, you can check out the link in our blog post in the video description below. Don't forget to visit Taylor Brand's website and subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more information on how to successfully build your business from scratch. We can't wait to see what you create.